98% of South Africa's total import and export trade was carried by foreign ships last year with the country losing out on 45 billion rand in potential business and this is according to the South African Maritime Safety Authority out of 9,000 ships coming in and out of the country's ports every year only one registered with South Africa. Monique Sinekal reports. More than 80% of South Africa's trade volume is seaborne, according to Transport Minister Sipusisa Ndebele, making it one of the top 15 shipping countries in the world. Yet very little of this trade is carried by locals. Cheap registration fees, little or no taxes, and freedom to employ cheap labor are the motivating factors behind a ship owner's decision to fly flags of convenience. In uh, Benin, when your ship enter there is, 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 is free. People from Ghana used to go to Benin to buy cars from there. Why? Because it's cheap. They don't pay uh, uh, duties. So people like to, like if I'm bringing my goods from China to Ghana, I will via Benin. South Africa has 13 terminals situated in the six commercial ports along its 3,000 kilometer coastline. Richards Bay Coal Terminal is the largest coal export facility in the world, while the Durban port is the busiest container port in Africa, followed by Cape Town. Port Mocha in the Eastern Cape is set to become Africa's premier transshipment hub within the next decade and is already the biggest of its kind in sub-Saharan Africa. Its expansion should lead to a reduction in shipping costs and improved maritime connectivity between the East and West. We just completed uh, two of the four berths in the port of Nuha. So uh, as of June onwards, we'll have a transshipment uh, uh, capability of around 2 million uh, TUs in, in the port of Nuha. Uh, we've begun work, uh, although at the feasibility stage, of movi moving the manganese terminal from PE to the port of Nuha. And uh, we're looking at a terminal with a capacity of over, um, you know, 20 million tons. We've also begun a process of moving the liquid bulk facilities there. SAMHSA is currently working with the Transport Department to finalize a tonnage tax system which is in line with international maritime trends. This is aimed at increasing the national register of ship owners and decreasing the number of ships operating under flags of convenience and will be instituted in 2013. Generally, internationally, um um, flags are moving towards the, 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 the tonnage tax, which is a tax on the size of the vessel. If you charge tax based on the tonnage of a vessel, whether or not that vessel is utilized 100%, there is predictability on the amount of tax that the vessel will pay. And it's generally lower than the company tax, which is based on the profits that the companies make. Transnet will triple its capital investment program to 300 billion rand in the next seven years as part of its strategic market demand program. About 100 billion rand is intended for expansion projects at various ports. For the Transnet National Ports Authority, over seven years, we'll be looking at 46.9 uh, billion that we have to spend in infrastructure expansion. The 200 uh, on rail, 151 will be mainly for GFB, uh, which is uh, the, the rail business other than coal and um, iron ore. A recent Deloitte Maritime Skills Development study found that the country lacks the necessary skills to service the maritime sector and that most of the seafarers employed in South Africa are not locals. As a country, we move uh, lots and lots of goods, and with the number of goods that we're supposed to be moving, we're supposed to at least be having 250,000 seafarers, but we only have 1,400. We are currently in a process of engaging universities. We're engaging 
uh, colleges of further education and training. We've been going to schools to say there is a sector that has been ignored and some of the interventions that we're putting in place is to set up a national maritime academy so that we can support the production of skills that are required in the sector. South Africa's maritime sector has the potential to create thousands of jobs and boost economic growth. But this can only be realized if government matches its ports development program with training initiatives. Monique Senegal, Johannesburg.